I'm delighted to be sat here today with the legendary art dealer Richard Green. Richard began his illustrious career at the age of 15, joining his father's art dealership before starting his own in his early 20s. The rest is history, or history I dare say, still in the making. Grandpa, it's an honour to have you here with me today. How thank are you, you, Charles. How are you? Fine, thank you. Fantastic. I'd like to ask you some questions about the upcoming Fair in Maastricht. I believe that the Richard Green Gallery has been taking part in the Fair in Maastricht for nearly half a century. We first exhibited at Pictura, the fair that was the forerunner of TFAF, Maastricht, in 1975. TFAF has built up over the years to be one of the best art and antique fairs in the world. And what would you consider the highlights of our stand this year? TFAF Maastricht has always been a wonderful fair for Dutch Golden Age painting, and we try each year to have a group of very special things from that time. One of my favourites this year is the still life by the pioneering flower painter Ambrosius Beauchart the Elder, painted around 1619. We've owned this painting before. I bought it in 1988 and sold it to a British private collector. It went to auction in 1990 and was in the collection of Anne and Gordon Getty until we reacquired it recently. It has everything that you want in a 17th century flower piece. Excellent condition, incredible detail in the painting of the flowers and shells, and a serene balance in the composition. And here it is with us today. It's an absolute beauty. Um, the paintings on our stand span from 1606 to the 1970s. What would you point out amongst our 20th century selection? Picasso's Ver et Piche is an iconic work. It's one of a series of still life that Picasso made in occupied Paris in July 1944. The glass and the jug, painted with such boldness, seem to shelter a lemon which glows in the middle, the color of hope. You can see the still life objects as symbolizing Picasso and his partner, Marie Therese, and sheltering their child, Maya. By July 1944, Paris was on the verge of liberation by the Allies, who in fact entered the city on 25th of August. So there's the anxiety of living in war, but also hope breaking through. And what would you say to someone visiting Tefaf Maastricht for the very first time? Come to the Richard Green stand, of course. We are just on the left, near the entrance to the fair, stand 300 but also take time to enjoy the incredible cornucopia of art and antiques on display in the Mech. Fantastic, thank you very much. My pleasure.